Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. away from the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim, California. But tonight, live from the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, it's Friday Night SmackDown, and not one, but two Elimination Chamber qualifying matches take place this evening. In 10 nights, we will find out the number one contender for the World Championship at WrestleMania. Tonight, we decide the field. In your main event, it's a rematch from several weeks ago in a grudge match, if you will. LA Knight versus Drew McIntyre run it back with a spot inside the Elimination Chamber on the line. And we kick things off from Providence, Rhode Island tonight with yet another Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event is Sunday night, January the 22nd, just 10 nights away, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is the final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. It's the Elimination Chamber live from Anaheim, California. And on that night, six Friday Night SmackDown superstars will compete inside the confines of the Elimination Chamber with a spot to challenge the World Heavyweight Champion, whether that be Seth Rollins or Dolph Ziggler at WrestleMania. Tonight we decide the first two combatants inside the Elimination Chamber matchup in 10 nights in Anaheim, California. The former United States Champion Mustafa Ali set to go one-on-one -on -one with the former Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the one, the only, Ricochet. Two incredible high-flying athletes looking to bounce back from recent championship losses with a world title spot possibly hanging in the balance. Who's gonna capitalize and punch their ticket to the chamber? And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! It was on January the 1st in Toronto at the Royal Rumble where that man ricochets over 180-day Cruiserweight Championship reign came to an end by the hands of the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. Those two met in a Royal Rumble rematch last week here on SmackDown, and unfortunately, again, Ricochet coming up short. So his time may have ended at the top of the Cruiserweight division, but tonight is a new opportunity for the one and only, a shot for one of these men to step inside the Elimination Chamber matchup in less than 10 nights in Anaheim, California, a spot to challenge the World Heavyweight Champion at the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania is on the line in Anaheim, but tonight in Providence, the field begins to play out as we kick off Friday Night SmackDown. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, two incredible competitors, two high-flying athletes. This is gonna be an exciting matchup. I like that also feature a grudge match between LA Knight and Drew McIntyre with another spot inside the chamber on the line. We an awesome night of action here on Friday Night SmackDown. We thank you for joining us here tonight in Providence and all across the world here on YouTube. Ali heading to the top rope early after the Tornado DDC. We see Ricochet got to his feet. A beautiful maneuver by the one and only. As we mentioned, Mustafa Ali with a recent United States Championship reign in his career. Only lasted about nine nights. Came to an end in Columbus, Ohio on December the 21st. Saturday night's main event by hands of the almighty Bobby Lashley. We saw Ali in the Royal Rumble match as well as the SmackDown Rumble last week here on SmackDown, coming up short in both of those. So same thing as Ricochet here. Some recent losses, some recent championship opportunities passing through the fingers of both of these men. But now a new leash on their careers and a new opportunity hangs in the balance. Six men will compete. Six Friday Night SmackDown superstars will compete. 
in 10 nights at the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim. And of course, on that night as well, the World Heavyweight Championship of Friday Night SmackDown will be on the line when the new number one contender, the winner of last week's SmackDown Rumble, Dolph Ziggler, challenges a man he's had a score to settle with since back in December, that being Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Of course, the winner of that matchup meets the winner of the Elimination Chamber match, and then we will have our World Heavyweight Championship bout, the SmackDown main event for WrestleMania. Look at this, Ricochet. Springboard takes Ali to the outside. Ricochet is getting going here. Ali, oh, referee's trying to make sure Ali's got his wits about him, but Ricochet takes it to the air to Pekin Hero over the top rope. Nobody's gonna stop the highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. You can't let Ricochet get going with these high-flying maneuvers. Ali's got plenty of them in his arsenal, but nobody does it better than the one and only. Now back inside the ring, just to head back out with a corkscrew, Mustafa Ali is in trouble right now. Ricochet is looking good here in your opening bout in Providence, Rhode Island tonight. Capacity crowd for Friday Night SmackDown. Not one, but two Elimination Chamber spots on the line tonight. Also the World Heavyweight Champion, we're being told, Seth freaking Rollins is here in the building and will be in action tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Some breaking news for you. Rollins will be in the ring for the first time since defeating John Cena to retain the World Championship back at the Royal Rumble. Back to the action inside of the ring. Ali looking good off the springboard, or excuse me, off the swinging neck breaker. Now to the outside, could be looking for that rolling X Factor by Ali. And that may be all she wrote, but Ali trying to get Ricochet away from the ropes here, trying to avoid a rope break into the cover, but was that pause enough for Ricochet to get his wits about him? Plus a little early on in the contest, Ali throwing one of his best maneuvers at the one and only. But we know how tough Ricochet is. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that beautiful Tornado DDT. It's going to take a lot to keep both of these men down. Ricochet was the Cruiserweight Champion from June 26, 2022 up until January 1st. It was 12 nights ago. And as for Mustafa Ali, he may have had a short reign with the United States Championship, but he did not go down without a Blades of Glory. Wait a minute, Ricochet, shooting star press from the top rope. Ali gets the shoulder up, but that was a close fall there by Ricochet. Almost punched his ticket to the chamber. Now Ricochet hitting the ropes, looking to showcase why we call him the human highlight. Real a smackdown, but Ali has got other plans. Gets the knees up. And now Ali, down goes Ricochet. Could be looking for that Koji clutch on the one and only, and he's got it locked in tight. If Ricochet taps here, Mustafa Ali has got a first-class ticket to Anaheim in less than 10 nights for Ricochet able to get out of it. Ali almost had him there. Ali's pulling out some of his best offense in this matchup thus far. And Ricochet's been able to survive it. Ali going to the outside, but he crashes and burns. The speed of Ricochet pays him dividends there. And now the one and only from the top row with Ara Kanarana to the outside. What a matchup to kick us off on Friday Night SmackDown. High stakes in this capacity crowd tonight. Ali back into the ring, but barely dragging his carcass inside the squared circle. Ricochet sending him back out to the apron. And Ali able to counter. Seen a lot of back and forth offense between Ali and Ricochet. You see both men going for high flying maneuvers there. Ali could have been going for that X Factor again. Ricochet was able to avoid it. And there's a neck breaker by Ali. Into the cover. Is he going to Anaheim on this 22nd of January? But not just yet. We've got a fight for the first spot in the Elimination Chamber. Now Ricochet, backslide. How many near falls are we going to have in this contest as Ali gets the shoulders up? Ali charged at Ricochet, but there's the power of the one and only. you got to say Ricochet's probably got the strength advantage in this matchup off the spine buster. And now could be looking to connect with that mood he was looking for earlier. The one and only making a statement here on SmackDown. Into the cover. Is he going to the Elimination Chamber? It's one, it's a two, but Mustafa Ali drags the shoulder off the canvas, but barely. 
We were about to mention it earlier, but yes, Mustafa Ali had a short reign with the United States Championship, but it took a one hell of a fight from Bobby Lashley to take that championship away from Ali. It was no easy matchup for the Almighty. Ali has got the heart. He's got the guts. There's a reason we've called him the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. That's a, the year he had, the career resurgence he had in 2022. You can't count out Ali, but you certainly can't count out the former Cruiserweight champion either. We're going to say showcasing his power maneuvers there. Rope break caught him. Ali survives for a moment. There's Ali taking Ricochet off his feet. That was a stern kick to the gut. Now Mustafa Ali back out to the outside. Going for that X Factor again. And he nails it flush in the middle of the ring this time. And immediately going into the cover. No waste in motion by Ali. And Mustafa Ali has punched his ticket to Anaheim on the 22nd of January. An incredible matchup to kick us off here tonight in Providence. The one and only giving it his all, but unfortunately the bad luck for the former Cruiserweight champion continues here tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, your first of six competitors that will compete for a World Heavyweight Championship matchup in 10 nights at Anaheim, California at the Elimination Chamber. We are back live inside the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island. Dominic Mysterio is set for a one-on-one -on -one action against a man he knows very well, the World Heavyweight Champion, the face of Friday Night SmackDown, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins is in the house. He's got Dolph Ziggler coming up on the 22nd, but tonight Rollins sets his focus on Dominic Mysterio in action for the first time since retaining the gold back on New Year's night. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth and coming up in 10 nights at the Elimination Chamber, the, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins set to defend the World Heavyweight Championship against the number one contender, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. It was back on November the 30th on Friday Night SmackDown where these two men met at a World Championship qualifier for the All-Star kickoff. Rollins defeated Ziggler on that night, but made a statement after the matchup by beating down Dolph Ziggler in the middle of the ring. Ziggler has not forgotten about that attack from Seth Rollins, and now, after Seth Rollins has rolled through Friday Night SmackDown the last few months, Ziggler has got a chance at redemption and has got a chance to win the World Heavyweight Championship and punch his ticket to the Friday Night SmackDown main event at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. What a matchup that is going to be coming up at the Elimination Chamber. But here we go. Dominic versus the world champion tonight. And Dominic Mysterio taking the fight to the visionary Seth Rollins. Dominic knows Rollins very well. These two men got history dating back to 2020. And Dominic looking to take advantage of the opportunity tonight. But Seth Rollins right now is operating on a completely different level than almost anybody in the WWE. It was back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff in Las Vegas that Seth Rollins won the World Heavyweight Championship in a four-man elimination contest, defeating Robert Roode, Drew McIntyre, and John Cena. Rollins went on to retain the World Championship, as we mentioned, back on New Year's night, January the 1st, in Toronto with the Royal Rumble, and Dominic off the splash there, big time maneuver. That was the last time we saw Rollins in action. Seth has been rolling Friday Night SmackDown over the last few months, but has he met his match in Dolph Ziggler? Yes, as we mentioned, Rollins owns a recent victory over the show-off, but Dolph Ziggler may be more motivated than anybody in the Friday Night SmackDown locker room. Outlasted nine other competitors, entered at number one in the SmackDown Rumble last week. Ziggler fought through them all and punched his ticket to the Elimination Chamber to become the number one contender. We talked about even prior to last week's festivities here on SmackDown that Dolph Ziggler, I'm sure, had been lying in the wait for Seth Rollins. Not forgetting about the attack from back on November the 30th. And now Z Ziggler's going to have his chance at payback coming up on the 22nd. And Rollins going behind. Dominic counters. Nice neck breaker there. And Rollins again tries to swing at Do Dominic Mysterio, but Mysterio counters. 
There's Rollins with the counter. Dominic trying to build some momentum for himself. Of course, his father, Rey Mysterio, the current Cruiserweight champion here on SmackDown. But Dominic looking to carve his own path here in the blue brand. Imagine if Dominic can pull off the upset against Seth Rollins here tonight. What it would be for that young man. Put himself in line for a future world championship opportunity, whether that's against Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler, or hell, whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match in the 22nd as well. Everybody's fighting for an opportunity here on Friday Night SmackDown. It's WrestleMania season, the grandest stage of them all. It's on the horizon. Everybody wants a spot, and everybody's trying to take advantage of the opportunities to the fullest here. But Rollins, what a frog splash to the rib cage. And Dominic able to kick out, but you got to believe the damage has been done. Big time maneuver by the visionary there. Dominic does not have his wits about him right now. And the world champion has taken full control, trying to send a message to the number one contender. The show off Dolph Ziggler here tonight. Hoping Ziggler's in the back watching this matchup as Rollins is picking apart Dominic Mysterio tonight in front of a sold out Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island. And our Rollins kick to the gut. Could be going for a pedigree here. Wait a minute, Dominic with the counter. Dominic able to hurricane Ronald Rollins. Dominic looking good. Nice counter there. Oh, wait a minute. Dominic Mysterio sending Rollins into the ropes. Could be looking for the 619. Oh, but Rollins counter at the last second, grabbing the boots of Mysterio and slams him on the canvas. What a momentum shift that would have been in this contest. The world champion had it scouted, and the world champion back in the driver's seat at the moment slip up there and falls up the forearm. Dominic's days, and now Rollins going for that pedigree again. And Dominic nowhere to run this time. Pedigree by the World Heavyweight Champion. Into the cover, and Seth Rollins picks up an emphatic win here tonight in Providence. We mentioned earlier that there may be nobody in the SmackDown locker room held, maybe nobody in the WWE that is operating on a better level than Seth Rollins right now. And Rollins continues to prove that here tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! Well, Dolph Ziggler, I'm sure, was doing his scouting on this matchup, and Seth Rollins sending a message to the number one contender. The World Championship's on the line on the 22nd of January. Will it be the visionary, or will it be the show-off leaving Anaheim with the big gold championship belt? Well, it's been a great night of action here on Friday Night SmackDown, but before we get to our main event between Drew McIntyre and LA Knight, Elias has got his hands full with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura's got some recent losses in the record books, failing to win the United States Championship a few weeks back, but can he bounce back here tonight in Providence? And his opponent from Kyoto. Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Nakamura has had issues with the Prince Finn Balor over the last few months, but all those issues and more came to a halt just two weeks ago here on SmackDown when the United States Championship was on the line in a triple threat matchup with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Of course, Lashley retaining the gold on that night. He is still the United States Heavyweight Champion here on the blue brand. But as for Nakamura, he's looking to get back in the winning column here tonight. Elias, the man who drew the number to face Nakamura here in Providence, Rhode Island tonight. Both these men looking to get a win. Both these men looking to build momentum on the road to WrestleMania. We talk about how wins and losses always matter here on Friday Night SmackDown, on Monday Night Raw as well. When it comes to main event opportunities, championship opportunities, you're always going to be looking to get your hand raised. And that's no different for these two men here tonight on SmackDown. Elias and Nakamura locking horns as we are just moments away from your main event here tonight from the Dunkin' Donuts Center. A grudge match several weeks in the making. The defiant LA Knight. There's the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre, but a lot more than just bragging rights on the line. A spot inside the Elimination Chamber match in 10 nights in Anaheim, California, hangs in the balance in our main event. 
Of course, earlier, Mustafa Ali defeating Ricochet. He is the first of six combatants inside that chamber matchup in Anaheim. Who will be the next to join Ali? In these last two weeks of Friday Night SmackDown leading up to the Elimination Chamber, the rest of the qualifying matches will take place. The rest of the field will be revealed in the weeks to come here on SmackDown. It all leads to Elimination Chamber Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And right now, Nakamura unloading on Elias with kicks to the chest. Another one there. And looking to follow it up in King fashion with one of the side of the head. Nakamura knows of those recent losses. Remember back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff, a big loss to the Prince Finn Balor, which only escalated him and Nakamura's rivalry. Of course, as we mentioned, the United States Championship matchup a few weeks ago. Nakamura is also a participant in the Royal Rumble and the SmackDown Rumble. Oh, wait a minute, what a tombstone by Elias. Elias, take no prisoners mentality here tonight, but Nakamura too close to the ropes. A misstep by Elias, but certainly doing some damage on Nakamura. You know how tough King of Strong Style is. Bounces up with that knee to the gut. Elias finds himself back in a predicament. Nakamura is in that SmackDown Rumble last week. Entered number three, unfortunately eliminated by the inevitable winner, Dolph Ziggler. See if Nakamura can continue to bounce back. Wait a minute here. Elias' is days. Nakamura! King Sasson to the face. And will that do it? Elias out pulled in the ring. And Nakamura picks up a quick victory here tonight on SmackDown. No rest for the wicked. Nakamura came out kicking. Came out strong here tonight and finds himself in the win column. Here is your winner. He is the artist known as... A big win for the King, but what's next for Nakamura? Next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania. It's the Elimination Chamber from Anaheim, California. And of course, one of two Elimination Chamber matches will take place. It is the Women's Elimination Chamber contest from Raw. Shotzi, Ripley, and Bailey have already qualified. More participants to come. Who will challenge the Women's Champion at WrestleMania? And who will be the Women's Champion come the grandest stage of them all? The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, in this new reign, defends for the first time against the number one contender, Tegan Knox, who's moving to the grandest stage of them all as the Women's Champion. And just announced after the assault this past Monday night on Raw, Karrion Cross, the undefeated Karrion Cross, gets himself an Intercontinental Championship opportunity against the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, one-on-one -on -one in Anaheim. The Monday Night Raw main event brings to you the WWE Championship being defended by the Apex Predator, the Viper, the legend killer Randy Orton, as he looks to stomp out the Hall of Famer, Rob Van Dam. And of course, the Friday Night SmackDown main event, the World Heavyweight Championship set to be defended. The winner of the SmackDown Rumble, the show off, Dolph Ziggler gets another round in the ring with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Who will walk into WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion and who will be the man that contends for the gold on the grandest stage of them all? We continue to find out the field of possibilities right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knight. Well, it was a few weeks ago here on SmackDown that the defiant L.A. Knight met the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre in one-on-one -on -one competition in the middle of that ring. McIntyre picked up the win on that night. But it was after the matchup where the story was really told, LA Knight extended the hand to McIntyre, which took us all by surprise, but what was leaving less of a surprise was LA Knight goading McIntyre in and kicking him down low where the sun don't shine. LA Knight walked out on his own power that night, even though McIntyre got the win. McIntyre got a measure of revenge in the Royal Rumble matchup when he eliminated LA Knight, but still a score to settle between these two men. Some bragging rights, and of course the Elimination Chamber spot on the line here tonight in this rematch between the Defiant Knight and the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. 
McIntyre had a rocky 2022. 2023 not going his way so far, but can that man start to turn things around starting here tonight in Providence, Rhode Island in the midst of your main event of SmackDown? And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre got that win overnight. He may have came up short in the Royal Rumble as well as the SmackDown Rumble last week, but now it's back to action, back to getting focused for Drew McIntyre. He's got LA Knight in the ring tonight, a man he knows he can beat. And of course, a major opportunity hanging in the balance. The second of the six Elimination Chamber spots to be determined right here before our very eyes in your main event. It's an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. Wait a minute, wait a minute. LA Knight hitting the ring. McIntyre's got no idea. LA Knight. McIntyre, turn around. LA Knight's looking to take advantage and get an upper hand. And the bell has sounded. Your main event is underway. LA Knight attacking McIntyre from behind as the matchup and the Elimination Chamber qualifying match is underway. LA Knight taking a moment here to soak it in from Providence, but attacking Drew McIntyre from behind. Trying to get the upper hand. Again, LA Knight fell to McIntyre a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. And with such high stakes here tonight, look to make sure the result varies in his way tonight. McIntyre only gonna piss him off even more, attacking from behind. But LA Knight coming in with a strategy, He's trying to pin McIntyre here. Too close to the ropes. Beating down the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre's trying to get back into this, take out the leg of the Defiant Knight. LA Knight better be careful what he wished for there. He might have just pissed off McIntyre even more as he gets sent over the top rope. Remember, McIntyre may have got the win in their main event meeting a few weeks ago on SmackDown, but it was LA Knight who got the last laugh that night, and McIntyre hasn't forgot about it. He was embarrassed in the middle of the ring on SmackDown, left laying after a low blow, and LA Knight may be tapping right now, but of course doesn't matter on the outskirts of the ring, but McIntyre looking to do the damage on his opponent. This is your main event tonight. What has been an action-packed night of Friday Night SmackDown. We thank you for joining us yet again from Providence, Rhode Island. Dunkin' Donut Center packed to the gills tonight on the road to WrestleMania. Mustafa Ali, the first of six to qualify. We are going to find out the second right now. Elimination Chamber coming up on the 22nd. And we will decide inside of the chamber the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. And it very well could be one of these two men. LA Knight taking down McIntyre there. LA Knight's got some power to showcase on the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre's trying to get his wits about him. McIntyre may be pissed off at LA Knight jumped him from behind, but he hasn't really been getting going for the most part. Every time McIntyre's been trying to get back into this fight, LA Knight's right there to cut him off, and then McIntyre with a cutoff of his own. And now a DDT by the bigger competitor. It's been well documented that McIntyre had a lackluster 2022. It seemed that every time Drew found himself in that big match situation with championship opportunities on the line, it seemingly always slipped through Drew McIntyre's fingers. We know Drew, oh my God, just a loading on LA Knight there. We know McIntyre's got the tools to get it done inside of the ring. Former Royal Rumble match winner, defeated Brock Lesnar a few years ago at WrestleMania, become the WWE Champion. But this last year, 2022, was not played so kindly for Drew McIntyre. Who said 2023 was going to be a bounce back year so far? Unfortunately, not good. Loss in the Royal Rumble matchup, loss in the SmackDown Rumble, but can McIntyre turn things around tonight as LA Knight sends him into the sea of fans here in Providence? LA Knight doesn't give a damn how he punches his ticket to the chamber as long as he defeats Drew McIntyre tonight. With a hooker by Crook, Knight just wants to go to the chamber. And again, as we mentioned earlier, the Elimination Chamber qualifying matches will fizzle out. These last two weeks on Friday Night SmackDown and the lead up to the 22nd, our field of six will be revealed before our very eyes will be earned by the Friday Night SmackDown locker room. And all roads lead to Anaheim, California. Elimination Chamber, a live premiere event. Sunday night, the 22nd of January. You're not going to want to miss it. McIntyre there, nice suplex on Knight. There go, down goes Knight. And they get back into this matchup of the Scottish Warrior. And Drew McIntyre here, fed up with Knight in this contest. 
Fed up with the attack from behind. Fed up with Knight trying to throw him over and get that count out win. McIntyre is looking to make an emphatic statement here tonight as well as punch his ticket to the Elimination Chamber. McIntyre on the top rope. Tomahawk shot. And coming from the size of somebody of Drew McIntyre with the power behind it, that's a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Friday. McIntyre into the cover. Is he going to Anaheim? Not just yet as LA Knight survives. Drew McIntyre. Oh, and LA Knight with a shot. McIntyre can't really mount too much momentum in this contest thus far. Every time he starts to build, that LA Knight is there to cut him off. It's really been the story the same way. A lot of back and forth in this contest. That's where both men have studied the matchup from a few weeks ago, especially LA Knight, considering he was the one coming up with the loss. And I'm sure Knight put together a strategy that kicked off before the bell even did when he attacked McIntyre from behind. And Knight going behind on McIntyre again, getting that maneuver that he was looking for a few moments ago, and he follows up with a clothesline. And LA Knight has also stayed more grounded in this contest. He took it to the air, as, he, as he's, of course he's going to the air, with the axe hammer, but a more simple maneuver. We saw him take it to the air a few times in their matchup a few weeks ago. LA Knight, a completely different strategy tonight against McIntyre. And wait a minute, Drew, dead center of the ring, future shock DDT. Maybe a little close to the ropes, into the cover. Will that do it? But LA Knight gets the shoulder up. McIntyre just one second away from going to the elimination chamber. LA Knight back to his feet. Almost saw his WrestleMania dreams flash before his eyes. Now McIntyre, look at the strength of the big man. What a press slam. Oh no, LA Knight better be counting his lucky stars. He better hope he wakes up in time. Never mind, Drew McIntyre with the Claymore kick. Is McIntyre going to Anaheim? Yes, he is. Drew McIntyre goes two zip against LA Knight in recent history, and this time it was for all the marbles. Drew McIntyre punches his ticket to be one of six men to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship number one contendership inside the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim, California on the 22nd of January. What a win for the Scottish Warrior tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Drew. Two more weeks of Friday Night SmackDown into the field is officially revealed, but as for tonight, Providence, Rhode Island witnesses Drew McIntyre pick up his biggest win of 2023. Will that momentum continue in Anaheim on the 22nd? Is Drew McIntyre gonna be the one headlining WrestleMania? We will see you next week. Good night, everybody, from Providence. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a ride.